Hello again for another Touch Designer tutorial. This time we create a Northern Lights animation. It's a very simple network based on some random lines and some post effects with feedback, glow and noise tops. Let's get started from scratch. We start with a noise top and an edge top. This way we create a random line which will simulate the movement of our Northern Lights. Add an RGB key and a, and a null far on the right side as well. In the noise, set your desired resolution, the period to 1.5, harmonic gain to 0.5 and the exponent to 0. To animate the line slowly, let's use the expression apps time dot seconds times 0.02 on the translate z axis. Let's also scale the noise to 0.3, 1.1 and one to stretch it horizontally. All right, the bass lines are done already. We can now start to add effects to make it look like northern lights. Drop the feedback edge from the palette after the edge top and set the source and tint color to this bright green here. Set the edge strength to 0.075 blur source and blur feedback to 20 and when we set the hue shift to 3 we get some nice bluish color to it. Connect the null. Northern lights look like the light is fading out upwards. We can get that effect with a feedback loop. So connect the feedback, a transform and a level top. After that a composite, which we set to over and drag it back onto, onto the feedback top. Also connect the null to the composite. First set the opacity inside the level top to 0.975 and then the translate y value in the transform to 0.005. This way we get this moving upward uh, effect. Also swap the operation order on the composite. Like always, I like to add the bloom component from the palette and set the blur size to 32. Connect it again to a composite. This time set the operation to add and also connect the previous composite. The lights look nice already, but the feedback that's above the source lines is too static, I think. With a noise top and a composite, we can make it look more natural. Set the noise period to 0.5 and harmonic gain also to 0.5. Scale it to 1, 0.2 and 1 and animate the translate Z value again with apps times dot seconds times 0.2. In the composite, set the fixed layer to input 1 and leave the operation to multiply. That's the effect I was looking for, but it would be nice to only have it on the feedback part above the lines. We can fix this by putting the first null top on top of it. To do that, connect another composite with operation set to a top. Then add a select top. Also connect the level, set the brightness to 1.5 and plug it into the composite. And drop the null from the beginning in here. Swap the operation order so that the baseline is on top. If you made it this far, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel to support me. Peace out.